Today's Supreme Court decision reaffirms that carbon pricing is integral to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and responding to the existential threat of climate change. The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled the federal carbon tax is constitutional. In a 6-3 ruling, Canada's Chief Justice writes that climate change is so serious that if one province didn't deal with it, it could bring harm to the rest of Canada. And if provinces won't bring in their own plans to meet emissions targets, or those targets are too low, the federal carbon tax can step in as a backstop. I think today the issue around whether carbon pricing forms part of Canada's plan with respect to uh, reducing emissions is over. Um, we will be moving forward with a carbon price um, and of course we want to do that in a way that, is, uh, that, that fits within the context of the Canadian Federation. As the Supreme Court said, our plan does. But the provinces who sued disagree. Alberta, Ontario, Manitoba and Saskatchewan joined together to bring the issue to the Supreme Court and those provinces expressed their disappointment today. Alberta's Jason Kenney says natural resources falls firmly under provincial authority. And the Supreme Court decision on the Greenhouse Gas and Pollution Pricing Act risks rewriting the rules of Confederation. The best we can hope for is that the Supreme Court has invented a one-time only carbon pricing exception to the constitutional order. Kenny wasn't alone. Two justices, Russell Brown and Malcolm Rowe, wrote dissenting opinions saying just that. A third, Suzanne Cote, wrote a partial dissent, agreeing climate change is a national problem that can be subject to federal authority, but the law is unconstitutional as written now. There seems to be no consensus among the provinces who sued, with some saying their own climate plans are better than the federal carbon tax. The more Manitobans that embrace this challenge, the better chance we have of succeeding. And we believe our plan, being developed by Manitobans, uh, will help us uh, to succeed more rapidly than would one imposed from Ottawa. Well, we can respect uh, the Supreme Court and what they stand for in this country, and we can uh, you know, follow their decisions. Uh, that's the lay of the land. Uh, we don't have to agree uh, with their decisions uh, that they make. Um, but I do know that uh, we are moving forward with our Made in Ontario Environment Plan. While Alberta seems to be taking a wait-and-see approach before deciding on a next move. We're going to consider all, all options here, listen to Albertans and see uh, what they want us to do. Um, uh, Two-thirds of Albertans continue to oppose a carbon tax, and uh, we ha that's why we repealed the NDP carbon tax. Meanwhile, federal Conservatives are blasting the ruling with Aaron O'Toole saying if elected, he would repeal the carbon tax. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.